Hey guys, welcome to the Tech Chat, where I'm actually in this guy's studio. This is Aaron from Mr. Who's the Boss. What's up, guys? And we're joined by Marcus Cole from PC Centric. How's it hanging? This is a bit of a different video. We're collabing to find out basically how this guy makes his videos. He's the UK's number one tech YouTuber. We want to see how he does it, and also if there's anything we can bring to make it even better. What's up, guys? Welcome to the setup. So first thing you want to check out is this. So pretty simple, it's just a bin, but it opens with your hand gestures. It's kind of one of those weird things which you find more useful than you expect. Coming around over here, we've got the Nintendo Switch hooked up to a pretty cheap kind of TV. It's actually by the brand Eternity. You might not have heard of them, but it is a 4K TV. Down here, we have the PC built by Marcus from PC Centric. You might have seen the collab we did together on that. This is the love child of that. Over here, we have a 4K Samsung HDR TV. And over here, is possibly the most exciting part right now, the Ursa Mini Pro. Actually, take a look at this. So in this cupboard, we have a lot of the phones that we've tested on this channel because obviously primarily what we do is smartphones. This is a dancing robot, some of the headphones that I really like using, and a couple of collectibles up top. So one of my favorite parts of the setup is gonna be these lights. So these are the Nanoleaf Auroras. They are kind of like a modular smart lighting kit. So this setup is great. We are so lucky to have all this stuff, but today we've invited Marcus from PC Centric and Tom, the tech chap, to help make it even better. The first thing I have to ask you about is that. Okay, this is the brand new camera. So this is the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro. And we've rigged it up. We've got a monitor there. We've got some pretty intense lighting from behind. All of this has been revamped. So we're trying to take the quality of the channel to the next level. That is really interesting because I use a GH5, you do as well. Just, yeah, just switch I thought out. this was really good <laughs> until I saw this, but this is a beast of a camera. What's the, like, the main difference, the main reason you upgraded? God, because he told me to. Yeah, I was going to say, is it, was <laughs> oh, it yeah, all, yeah, it was the same, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've got to make great content, but you've also got to sort of match everyone else when it comes to quality. Like, you don't want someone to visit a video on your channel and think, oh, that's a bit of a step down from what I was watching before. But also because you can directly plug a microphone into it and it can provide phantom power, the fact that it plugs directly into a mains outlet. So you never have to worry about battery and that crazy sensor. The sensor in this thing is phenomenal. And there might be some people in the comments now like, oh, it's not red. <laughs> yeah, red costs about <laughs> five times more in the quality. What do your audience sound like? <laughs> no, 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 very select, select few comments. The, the real fans are the very real articulate. Fans are lovely. Yeah. Four years old. <laughs> uh, so 4.6K, um, which means that you've got extra resolution on the top and the bottom. You can do things like ultra-wide, uh, 21 by 9 content and still have even higher uh, detail than you would normally. But it's all about the dynamic range and what you can do in post-production. It's pretty pricey, but I think it's going to pay itself off. Because when you say pretty pricey, roughly, how much are we talking? I think the, the body itself was about £5,000. <laughs> so you're looking at about $6,500, maybe $7,000. It's pretty pricey. Pretty pricey. Pretty pricey. <laughs> and I love the fact as well that it's called the Ursa Pro Mini. Yeah. It's nothing mini about <laughs> so that. There's nothing mini about it. So what about the mic? What kind of uh, audio setup are you using? We've got a, a great mic here. This is the Sennheiser MKH416. It's a new one, they sent it over, but I absolutely love it. It's a shotgun microphone, so it's, it's getting all three of our voices in. We're not using separate lav mics or anything like that. So that's shooting the video, but then obviously you have to edit it. So what do you use for that at the moment? So we've just switched recently to DaVinci Resolve on the Windows PC that Marcus actually built for the channel. Big call. Big so call. so yeah, I, I use Premiere Pro, you use DaVinci. DaVinci. You were Final Cut Pro on the Mac, mm -hmm. and now you're DaVinci. Now I'm DaVinci. He's convinced you. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Final, <laughs> Final Cut was great in a lot of ways. I mean, I love the portability of a Mac, being able to take it to a different location, any part of the house. You could just get a laptop, a Windows laptop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The control over colors that you get on DaVinci Resolve is, is huge. So that's all well and good shooting and editing, but you need some decent content as well. And you mainly make smartphone videos. I can see in this cabinet right here, a thousand smartphones. <laughs> They're my daily drivers. The daily drivers. Yeah. The... Don't you just love that term? Uh, daily driver. <laughs> if you don't use that term, then <laughs> you're not doing videos right. But it's not just about phones. You do gaming. You play games, right? I play. I think these two guys are getting in, getting me into it more. Just installed a new uh, Vega 64 liquid cooled card, so it's going to run super so beautiful. quiet beautiful. Uh, and super fast. Is that actually. going to give him an advantage if he's got high frame rate? Oh, I've, I've tweaked about some of the settings. Nice. So like, like, when he goes to actually fire a gun, it went. He's <laughs> 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 plugged a mouse in. <laughs> <laughs> but as well that you obviously play the Nintendo Switch, 
I, lo I love the Switch. The Switch is great. I mean, I've always preferred handheld consoles. And Game were kind enough to sponsor this video and send out a second Switch. So Marcus, what does that let us do? I believe it's called multiplayer. Multiplayer. Switch multiplayer. <laughs> Something else you may have noticed has changed since the last setup is the chair we're sitting on. So last time we had a pretty cheap one from Ikea. It was, now, it was terrible. It wasn't great. It, wasn't it, it was a work in progress. But now we have the Icon by Noble Chairs. So this is made of real leather. It is ridiculously cool to look at. It looks like the inside of a sports car and it is really comfortable to sit on. But you are still using an Ikea table. Yeah. It's, it's really it's, um, sturdy, I like it's, it. <laughs> there's actually three books under here. There's, yeah, there's, there's a book under each leg to keep Smoke it stable. Smoke and mirrors. This is a work in progress, this, this setup. And I think actually, to be, now you pointed out, this is the next place it needs to evolve. We're gonna have to come up again to improve it. I think, yeah. 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 <laughs> next video title, $25,000 table. <laughs> <laughs> I recently made a video about adding RGB bulbs into my house and I got mm. a few light strips behind my desk. It does look quite cool, but I noticed you're using something a little bit different to me. What have you got yeah. there? These are the Nanoli Ferroras, and ever since the second iteration of this setup, they've almost been like an iconic part of it. They're pretty pricey, but actually, once you install those, and you install the add-on, these can listen to you and sync to your voice. It was pretty cool when you were just like clapping or playing music earlier, and they were actually well, responding. They yeah, yeah. yeah. Do they? No, no, they turned off. Changed no, it. That's brilliant. <laughs> Good input there, Marcus. I try. <laughs> I have to say, Aaron, your studio is seriously impressive. I am very, very jazzed. And also, I think I've taken away a few pointers from what you're doing here for my own channel. And hopefully, Marcus and I have come up here, we've helped you out yeah, a Yeah, I'd like to think so. Yeah, I mean, these guys have changed the PC game over here, and they also cleaned the room for free, so that's... Uh, <laughs> we actually just tied it up, that's all we did. Well, thank you very much for having us. It's been a real pleasure. Oh. Marcus, you've been here as well. Yes, I have. <laughs> always a pleasure, always a treat. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Let us know what you thought of this setup in the comments, and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat. And and I'm sure Same and I'll show sure you and I'll show and I'm sure <laughs> shut up and I'm sure you'll see more collabs with the three of us in the future.